Hello YouTube family. Thank you for subscribing my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the determinants or factors or forces that may affect the elasticity of supply. So what are those factors that affect the elasticity of supply is the time period. The time period in economics is the long run and short run. What is long term and short term? In economics, the short term is the period during which the firm has no choice to shift from one place to another place or install a new machinery or plant. But during short run, the firm can increase its output by bringing changes in the variable factors by keeping the fixed factor becomes fixed. So, in the short run, the supply is perfectly inelastic because firm can slightly increase its supply. Whereas, in the long run, the long run in economics is the period during which the all cost is variable, firm can ship from one place to another place or install a new machinery or a plant. So, in the long run, the supply is elastic. The other factor that may affect the last year supply is production time. If production requires long time, like agricultural products, the supply will be inelastic. And if it requires short time, for instance, the product is industrial product, the supply will be elastic. And the other factors that may affect the last year supply is the nature of product. Nature of product, product may be the perishable or durable goods. So the perishable goods like vegetables, fruits, milk that can't be stored and supply is inelastic because they are bound to sell. And while the goods may be durable goods, the durable goods like air condition, furniture or that can be stored and supply can be stopped. So supply is elastic in case the goods are durable. Where the other factors that affects the last year supply is availability or mobility of factor of production. So before to study about the mobility of factor of production, as we know that there are major four factors of production, which are land, labor, capital, and organization or entrepreneurs. So the land includes the gift of nature or natural resources not created by human efforts. And capital includes the tools, equipment, and factories used in production. Labor means mental or physical exertion undertaken for the monetary consideration, and that includes the people with all their efforts and abilities. And entrepreneurs are individuals are who start a new business or bring a product to market our entrepreneurs are responsible to provide the factor of production during production process. If resources or inputs are movable, the supply is said to be elastic. And if the resources are not movable, the supply is said to be inelastic. While if availability of resources problem, then supply will be inelastic and if the availability is not the problem then in that case the supply will be elastic. The factor and other force that may affect the elasticity of supply is the spare capacity. A spare capacity means if firm is operating at its optimum level and full capacity the supply is inelastic. For example if we talk about the electricity production at Gird station and Vabda is using its all resources 
to the optimum level so that the supply of electricity can be increased and in this case the supply would be inelastic and on the other side as the firm has spare capacity the supply would be elastic for example the excess chairs in a restaurant indicate that capacity to supply is more than demand so the factor that may affect the elasticity of supply is the barrier to entry so barrier to entry means it is difficult to enter into a market to produce the goods like if the production requires huge investment or the government license to produce the product so in that case the supply would be inelastic what are those barriers that may restrict to enter into a supply those are the natural monopoly natural monopoly means water and electric company monopoly control of physical resources like dbs for diamonds legal monopoly like post office past regulation of airlines and trucking patents trademarks and copyrights or that the some well well known brand names these are the barriers to entry or exit into the market and if there are no barriers to enter or exit into the market the supply is elastic so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please subscribe my channel and press bell icon